are so happy to welcome friend, friends and relatives of Ted and Mary Cannabis here tonight. This is a very special time for us. Mary and I have a few wonderful memories to share with you. Nothing too long because there's food and drink and we don't want you to miss any of it. But Mary and I first met when Mario Frangoulis was going to do Mario. a big event oh at the Wilson Center. And we sat in your living room and watched this DVD and we thought, oh my God, is he coming here? It's so cool. And he did. And it was good. So all that is great. But be that as it may, the reason I'm saying that is because Ted Cannabis single-handedly made sure that the Wilson Center in the state of Wisconsin did not have to pay tax. <laughs> We're all about taxes, right? And uh, being of a conservative bent, I thought, Don and I being one of the one of the many people, the Harrises are in the room tonight, and so many of you who have given to the Wilson Center. Thank you, Ted Cannabis. Thank you, darling. Because yes. he was very important in all of this, and it is thriving thanks to all of you. So may I introduce the beautiful and, I'm sorry to say, the widow and dear friend of Ted to speak to you tonight. Okay. First of all, I have to thank Don and Kate so much for opening up their house on this beautiful, beautiful evening. But not only did they open up their house tonight to celebrate the season and the statesman, but they opened up their hearts to my family many, many years ago. And we have had many escapades over the years. <laughs> and um, Greeks and Italians. Greeks and Italians. <laughs> Good stuff. Detail, detail. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> later in the, in the dining room we'll talk. Um, but you could not find two finer people on the face of the earth than okay. Don and Kate Wilson. Move on. And no, no. Talk amongst and yourselves. <laughs> myself and my kids love you oh, thank so you much. So yeah. thank, thank you very, you. very much. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 And next I have to thank, gosh, everybody that is in this room tonight. Oh my God, my heart is just bursting when um, Ted's former staffers, who believe it or not I call kids, and they are all parents and have kids in school, when they came to me and said we really want to start a scholarship fund in Ted's memory, I, I really was speechless. It was just, I looked at, Sean Lundy is one of the one of the founders along with Laura Gralton, and I just looked and I'm like, God, you guys got Ted. You got it. And I'm just so thrilled because all Ted Cannabis ever wanted to do was help people and mentor people and help people. So this is such an incredible, wonderful legacy for him. And I look around this room and it just warms my heart because I know you guys all know it too. And so from my kids and I, just thank you so much because Ted and Ted's story and everything about Ted will live on for years and years and years. And he's going to be helping kids for for so long, and he would be so honored and so proud. So thank you guys all so much for all your donations and being here this would be he would really be happy. Let me tell you, he would really be happy. But um, I also wanted to just have a couple people come up and talk to you. Um, this evening too that were really important in our lives and um, in 2014 Ted got the opportunity to start a business Michael Best Strategies with David Krotz who was the managing partner at Michael Best Law Firm and it was a really really exciting time in our lives it was a dream that Ted had had for <laughs> a really long time and it came true and it was just, oh my God, this, this was awesome. So he started Michael Best Strategies in 2014 and shortly thereafter, it was like, we've got to start expanding and he needed to find his right hand man. And there wasn't a list, there wasn't a short list. There was one man, one name, and he's gonna speak with us tonight and that was Rob. And Rob, Thankfully, 
quickly decided to join mm -hmm. Michael Best with Ted because Ted would not have done it without him. And unfortunately, shortly after, even though the company was doing really well, shortly after Ted got his devastating diagnosis, and lo and behold, Rob not only joined the company, but his plate became incredibly full, much more full than I'm sure he anticipated. But it was such an incredible relationship those two had, and Rob knew that every single day Ted gave everything he had to that company, but he could not have done it without Rob. And a couple days before Ted passed away, Rob was named president of Michael Best Strategies. So Ted knew that his dream and the man that he wanted. <coughs> yes, you're good. You're good, baby. You're good. You're good. good. It's all good. and reflections and stories and um, about my friend, mentor, um, inspiration, Ted. Um, I was happily employed, gainfully employed, <laughs> when Ted called in 2014. And um, whenever Ted called, you knew there was something for him. <laughs> and, uh, I pick up the phone, hey, it's Ted, and I hadn't, I hadn't talked to him in eight months. I'm thinking, I was working at the retirement system at the time, I'm thinking, oh, he's got a problem with his pension, it's gone, <laughs> <laughs> fix something. And he said, oh, we gotta grab lunch at Panera by Highway 83, I got something I wanna talk to you about. And that was when I knew something was cooking, because that's where <laughs> We everything were, happened. It was where everything happened. <laughs> so, you know, when, when Reggie White signed with the Packers, they went to Denny's, we went to Panera. <laughs> um, and he really, uh, he liked to say with, with the core of our company, when he was recruiting, he would make people offers they couldn't refuse. And um, for me, it was the opportunity just to work with him. Um, you know, it wasn't about money, it was all about opportunity. He was so optimistic about anything he approached. And he had big ideas, but he had big optimism to match them. And he was magnetic. If you looked at his staff in the Capitol through the years, he always attracted talented people to him who wanted to help him achieve the vision that he had. And whether that was groundbreaking economic development legislation for the entire state, or tax-exempt status for arts facilities. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary and Mary. Mary and Mary. Mary, and Mary. <laughs> Mary. Um, or if it was helping get an internship program off the ground in the state senate, which was something that we did together when we worked in the senate. Mm. He always had great ideas. And you know, he had some clunkers out there that we never <laughs> never could get done. <laughs> we still haven't hosted a Super Bowl at Lambo. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But he really did have a way of inspiring people to him. And um, I miss him every day. We talk about him in the company every day. Uh, we're up to, I think, 28 employees now. And, wow. um, and Ted's wisdom and his guidance and his teaching comes up on a daily basis. And um, it'll continue to be that way. 
So we hope to be in some small part a legacy to Ted as well. And we are so unbelievably grateful to be able to contribute to this fund and to help this piece of Ted's legacy, which is so important and so in alignment with his values. I mean, it's just phenomenal. So thank you for the opportunity to share some stories about my friend who I love dearly. And uh, I know right now he's looking down, wanting to give us a fist bump. <laughs> so, he wishes you. he was here. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. So we decided um, when the crew, I call them the crew, came to, get, came to me with the idea for the Scholarship Foundation, we kicked around a number of ideas, kicked around a number of places where it could have could be housed and there was just really one one place it needed to be and that was the Waukesha County Community Foundation and I think Shelly hopefully is still yes. here yeah. Shelly is Shelley. the executive director of the um, Waukesha County Community Foundation Waukesha County was huge in Ted's life huge 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 so we just we're thrilled that we have the, the partnership with them. We're thrilled that the fund is going to be housed there. Just so you know, what we're looking at is a um, Waukesha County High School student going on to a four-year college um, with an emphasis in, in political science and, and public service. And just the thought that, um, you know, year after year after year, Ted, Ted can be helping somebody achieve their dreams of, of going to college is really, really incredible. So the next person I'd like to introduce is a gentleman who um, is going to be one of the members of the selection committee um, when we go to give out the scholarships. And um, I think, you know, you can go through life and you can have a number of really, really good friends. We all have good friends. But every now and then, you just meet that person. And for Ted, it was not until later in life, but the night he met this man, he came home and he said, I met my best friend. I met my best friend tonight. And nothing could be more true. I mean, these two were cut from the same cloth. They didn't have similar senses of humor. They had the exact same humor. <laughs> which, as Lynn, <laughs> which, as Lynn can attest to, I mean, we both are like, are you kidding me? There are two of them out there. But um, what a joy for Ted to have this best friend in Brian. Brian was with Ted every step of his journey. Um, always there for him um, you know not many people knew how sick Ted was uh, I'm not even sure Brian knew how sick Ted was but Brian was with Ted every step of the journey and so it was very important to me he's a huge huge part of my life and my children's life he and his wife and their family right now and um, it was very important for me that Brian be a part of the selection committee so I'd like to introduce Ted's Brother from a different mother, <laughs> Mr. Brian D. Kill. So I always like to say it, it took my wife months to like me. But <laughs> Teddy and I would love it for a second. <laughs> So the fact that you're all here tonight kind of speaks to the reach of Ted Canova. He knew many people in many different walks of life. Um, many of you served with him. Uh, many of you worked with him. I didn't. He was just my buddy. Yeah. You know, and in many respects, with deference to George, Tommy, I know you're here, but he was a brother to me. Um, he was one of the truly best people I know. And there were a couple things about Ted. Uh, I mean, we could talk about Teddy all night, but there were a couple things I think that are germane to why we're here tonight that were very important to me. And, and one, I remember very distinctly having a long conversation with Teddy one night about service and how he was raised to believe that we should all serve others with our blessings and with our gifts. 
Um, and the other thing about Teddy was that he always made you feel important. He always made you feel like you were a big deal. You know, and so many times, so often we have conversations and it's, here's what I'm doing and here's what's going on. But with Teddy, it was always, hey, what's going on with you? And how can I help you? And so importantly, for me anyway, I have two beautiful girls. He cared about my daughters. He always asked me about my daughters. He was intellectually committed to what they were doing in their education. He was committed to what they were doing in their schools. And if they walked into the room and he was at my house or I was at their house or whatever, wherever we might be, my girls would run up to him and it would be about them mm -hmm. and her. And so when I think about honoring Ted and when I think <clears> about <throat> keeping Ted's legacy alive, I think what better way could there be to honor a man like that than to give people the right to get education and to serve people? And for those students who may qualify in that way, um, that we could help them in some way um, financially, um, I think would be the best thing that Teddy could ever want us to do. So that's what I would ask you tonight. If you, if you remember my friend Teddy the way I do, and if you loved him the way I do, and you want to honor him the way I think we all should honor him, um, no better way to do it than to do it through this scholarship fund. So thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, Mary, thank you for giving me two minutes to babble on. And I got a lot of good Teddy stories with you. <laughs> guys know that there's wonderful food still out on the all buffet green. in the dining room. All green because Kate just does party really well. And I walked in, she's like, I hope you know we're having all Greek food tonight. Of course. Well, of course. So once again, gosh, my heart is just full. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Bravo. And just Mary. Hey,